people watch movies to feel things, and everybody should know that color helps you feel things. If you're not getting the right color, you might not be feeling the right things. Color matters because it imparts emotion. The whole point of a movie is to manipulate your emotion. That's what movies do. They make you happy, they make you sad, they make you angry, they make you cry, they make you dance. And if the color's not right, you might not feel those things. Color accuracy and color calibration tools are very important, and they're something that's used literally at every step along the chain. With the idea that you can't collaborate, you can't be part of the flow experience if you can't trust what you're looking at. Color is always thought of holistically in filmmaking from the start to the finish, and it's so hypercritical now in productions that are huge endeavors involving a lot of manpower and money that it's well managed and it tracks and that everybody knows they're seeing things the right way. Because color consistency is so important, we have a state-of-the-art calibration facility for multiple monitors. We use display calibration products. Calman's definitely an important one. We'll take all of the different production monitors that we can and calibrate them all to the best of their ability to meet production standards for color so that when any one of these monitors are distributed, whether it's the director's monitor, the producer's monitor, the focus puller's monitor, that they're all calibrated to the best of the ability so that every person is seeing something consistent, and that's important. You have a mastering environment, so there's a team of engineers that are making sure that everything is hitting all of the correct reference levels so that when I'm making decisions with filmmakers that we're confident that they're gonna be recreated correctly around the world. By being very rigorous and making sure that we calibrate each of the devices along the way to the best of the ability, everyone gets to participate along the way, everyone gets to see, and everyone gets to be a contributor. And at the end of it, that subtlety is carried on to you and you get to see what everyone meant. There's a million different ways people see these movies right now. And you now have the technology and the capacity to calibrate your displays at home and really see what they meant. Color as an artistic medium needs to be exhibited correctly because all of those little choices that were made won't make any sense if your TV's not set up right. If your TV's not looking right, you might be looking at mush. I think people don't always understand that the TVs that they have in their living room can be as good as the TVs that we master the films on in our bays. Where you can see almost virtually identically what was exactly made by the creators. You get to see the nuance and the detail and the subtlety that they've included in films and simply wasn't available before. There's a lot of settings on TVs that sometimes are not going to help that happen. Unfortunately, people see TVs in display showrooms that are not calibrated. They're just set up to be bright and to grab your attention. But the reality is that Color is a world that's grounded in subtleties, and those subtleties are not going to be imparted when your TV is blasting. And there's a real importance to making sure that your TV can look as good as it can if you care about movies. Making sure that your TV is set up correctly is going to make sure that you're seeing the story being told in the best possible way, in the way that all of the filmmakers intended there's gonna be certain modes that can be enabled on televisions that brings it close to a calibrated state as possible. Additionally, you can use calibration tools at your home to calibrate the display so that the information that's gonna be recorded on Blu-ray or that's gonna be streamed to you is as faithfully as possible reproducing the color that was meant to be seen. So the realm and the division between what the cinema makers see and what you see at home has never been thinner. Color matters because it's part of the human experience and it's one of the primary ways that we experience the world around us. My vision for you as an audience member is to show you the story as the cinematographer and the director intended it. I do think of filmmaking as an art and I think it's an art that's still very early in terms of art. You know, people have been painting for thousands of years and people have only been making films for about a hundred years now. And so I think there's a lot of things that are still yet to be seen. 
I love color and I love that people are starting to appreciate it. And I love that they're starting to be tools and displays and environments now that people can take it on in their own fashion sometimes. My hope is that the part that I helped with is communicated well and that it helps move you and it helps tell the story better and it helps make the experience of watching movies that much more magical.